wake of the female solidarity surrounding the Golden Globes comes a film about a feminist victory. The Post follows the first female publisher of the Washington Post, exposition of the US government papers. Here to tell us more is our Weekend Sunrise movie man, Jabs. Now, two Hollywood heavyweights team up in this film. Tell us more. Even more, Simon. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. OK, so for the first time, Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep are together in a film. For the first time, uh, Spielberg is directing Streep. She's very excited to be uh, on board. This is a film chasing awards glory. Uh, she plays the publisher of the Washington Post, who must be convinced by Tom Hanks, who plays Ben Bradley, the Post's editor, that they must follow the lead of the New York Times and publish these damning Pentagon papers. This is a phenomenal film. Let's take a quick look. You're talking about exposing years of government secrets. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Ben, I might have something. It must be precious cargo. It's just government secrets. Ooh, better call Saul, mm. Bob Odenkirk there. This is uh, one of these films where you're going, isn't that from that TV show? <laughs> really? Isn't that that guy? Incredible supporting cast. The two of them are fantastic. I did go and see this mm. with Melissa, my wife, and we agreed that it was a little bit hammy. So maybe I've notched it down half a star. Maybe this is more a four-star really? film. It is an all-star cast, a well-told true tale. Definitely must see viewing. But what blew us away, this is another delusional leader moving on from Richard Nixon in the White House in 1971 mm. to Winston Churchill in England. He's installed in the government in in 1940, uh, France is about to collapse under the threat of the Nazis. Gary Oldman in a, in a performance that's frankly going to win every single Best Actor award. Really? He's already won the Globes. He's nominated for the BAFTA. Um, let's take a look at him as Winston Churchill. We must rouse to an heroic resistance. There's nothing patriotic in fighting to the end. Now is the time to negotiate. When will the lesson be learned? You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth. I take full responsibility. Really? Really, yes, sir. It is the reason I sit in this chair. So that's the side wow. of Winston Churchill we're familiar mm. with. We yeah. also see glimpses into his personal life where he's got scenes with Clemmie, played by... Um, uh, I know. Uh, she's great. And she was Kristen in The Horse Whisperer. Thomas. Yes, there you go. Good. Um, <laughs> phenomenal performances. Five stars. This is wow. filmmaking wow. at its finest. Absolutely unmissable. This is a, a, just a beautiful film. You could take the family to see it. There's nothing inappropriate. Mm. It's just... It's a world leader using words in a positive effect. It is what we need. Both of them look great. The Post is a reminder that there's a madman in the White House. I, I watch the news, I watch Sunrise, I don't know if I need a reminder for two <laughs> right. hours. Yeah, so, right. Darkest Hour, but just then, hands but down. But then, uh, every time I see Tom Hanks in a movie, I think, that he's the best. Mm. He's so, we, the best. we finished The Post and went and watched All the President's Men, their yeah. companion films, finished Darkest Hour and went and watched Saving Private Ryan. Spielberg yeah. film with Tom yeah, Hanks. Beautiful. So, yeah, some great viewing. Get to the movies this week. A lot week. of fun being had in the Jabs household Big this time. past couple of weeks. <laughs>